Hi, this is Greg from Greg Space Shed. Welcome to the lesson. This is the fifth lesson in the Bass Beginner series. And in this lesson, we're going to look at five essential scales for bass players. So why are scales important? Well, they help us to construct bass lines, riffs, solos and fills on the bass. Also, they're crucial to have an understanding of harmony and chords. Obviously, there are lots of other scales other than these five scales, but these are the essential ones that you'll need to play in pop, rock, jazz, funk, etc. All the modes are based on these scales, so once you know the scales, then you can learn the modes. I've written out these five scales in PDF form. If you'd like that, then click the link in the description. Remember to put your email address in before you press submit. You'll also find a bonus scale on there that I don't cover in this lesson. Okay, so scale number one, we're going to look at the major scale. So to play the scale, start with your second finger on the third fret of the A string. And then use four on the fifth fret. So, so fret numbers three and five. And then on the next string on the D string, use your first finger, second finger, and fourth finger. So, and fret numbers two, three, five. So up to there. Try that with me. Three, four. And then last of all, we're going to use fingers one, three, and four. On the G string, so frets two, four, and five. So the whole scale. With me, three, four. And then back down again. So you'll notice if you use one finger per fret and start uh, with your second finger on C, you don't have to shift your hand at all, so you can play the whole scale in one position. So with all scales, you really need to learn the pattern of the scale um, and then you can transfer it to any key, so you can so you can start on any note. So you could just start, say, on a an A, G up here. So the major scale is a seven note scale, uh, and we've played a whole octave, which means eight notes. So you might have noticed we ended up on the C again. So that C there. It's the same note, but up an octave, so eight notes higher. Now with all the scales, you can run them all the way up and down the fretboard until you run out of frets. So to run the C major scale in two octaves, for example, if we start on the C here, so that's the um, eighth fret of the E string. So that's the first eight notes. So when we get to the high C, instead of playing it with your little finger, if you shift again to start on your second finger, we have to shift to play here. So all of that. So that's C major two octaves. Okay, scale number two, we're going to look at a minor scale. Again, this has seven uh, notes in it. Um, we'll do C minor, and we're going to look at the natural minor. There are a few different minor scales, uh, melodic minor where it changes on the way down, and a harmonic minor as well. But we'll look at the natural minor which stays the same. So for the minor scales, if you start with your first finger on C, uh, we're going to stay in position the whole scale again, but you start with your first finger. So we're going to do fingers one, three and four. And that's fret numbers three, five, and six on the A string. And then we repeat the same pattern on the D string. So with me, one, two. And then we just do one and four. 
on the G string. So all of that. With me, three, four. So the important note in the minor scale is the flat third, so this note. So when we play the major is actually, we actually play that there, but it's this note. So it's called a flat third because it's down a semitone or down a half note. So for a minor scale, a major scale, Okay, so that really defines um, the scale, and when you have a minor chord, that's really what you can hear, that note there. Right, scale number three, we're going to look at the minor pentatonic scale. Um, you've probably heard of a pentatonic scale. Penta means five, so it's a five-note scale. Um, this is used virtually all styles, from rock, blues, funk, jazz. Uh, it's a really popular scale, and definitely with the major scale, this is the, definitely the next important one to get your fingers around. So it only uses five notes, um, so we'll, we'll start on C again, and the notes come from the minor scale. So we start in the same position, so because it's a minor, we'll start with our first finger on the root note on C. So we play C, then the flat third, and that really gives the, the pentatonic, the minor pentatonic, its um, sound, its tonality. Third, fourth note of the minor scale, fifth note of the minor scale, and the seventh note the minor scale. So on A, use your first finger on the third fret and your fourth finger on the sixth fret. And then on the D string, use your first finger on the third fret and your third finger on the fifth fret. And then on the G string, use your first finger on the, on the um, third fret. And then you can go back to the C. So if you really nail that shape down, just get really comfortable. Uh, again, you can just do that on any note. So that's probably a familiar sound to you. You can hear that in all styles of music. Okay, scale number four, we're gonna look at the major pentatonic. So again, like the minor pentatonic, this only has five notes um, and it's based on the major scale. So because it's a major scale, we're going to start with our second finger on C. We're going to do C major pentatonic. So if you use your second finger on the third fret and your fourth finger on the fifth fret, and then the first finger on the second fret of the D string, and your last finger on the fifth fret of the D string. So, and in the same pattern on the G string. So two, four, one, four, one, four. With me, three, four. If we take away the second note, um, it's quite a familiar blues walking line. So the major pentatonic we use a lot for bass lines, uh, the minor pentatonic um, more for riffs, um, fills and for soloing. So the minor pentatonic works over a lot of chords and the major pentatonic you use over major chords. So scale number five, the last scale we're going to look at is the minor blues scale. The note that really defines this scale is the flat five. 
So C. And that's called the blues note. So this scale is frequently used in lots of styles of music. So as it's a minor scale, we're gonna start again with our first finger on the root note on C. And finger one and finger four. So on the A string, that's fret number three and fret number six. And then onto the D string, one, two, three finger numbers. Fret numbers three, four, five. And then one and three, and fret numbers three and five. So with me, three, four. So the minor blues scale is very similar to the minor pentatonic scale. You've just got this extra blues note. So you just it's context really. Um, if you want that bluesy sound to it, then you'd use the blues scale. If you didn't, you'll use the pentatonic. So that's our five essential scales for the bass guitar. Um, remember to download the PDF by clicking the link in the description and then practice all these scales really slowly at first so you can get the shape under your fingers. Don't just rush up and down the, the fretboard. Um, once you've really got the patterns under your fingers then you can try them a bit faster and also start on different notes. So with the C major scale, try that on B for example on the E string. You can start on G on the A string. So mix it around, play it in different places on the neck. Uh, and if you're playing up here, it's useful because then you can practice, you can do some fills up there that really cut through. So as I said at the beginning of the video, these scales are essential for constructing bass lines, fills, solos and riffs. Once you're familiar with their sound, then you'll start hearing them everywhere. So for example, the riff at the end of the verse in I Shot the Sheriff, That's just, that's in G, that's just a minor pentatonic in G. Sweet Child of Mine, at the end of the solo there's that really nice riff. That's an E flat, the sixth fret of the A string. That's just a minor blues scale. Sunshine of Your Love by Cream. That's again, that's a blues scale, a minor blues scale on D. by Rage Against Machine. I'm going to actually do a whole lesson on this because it's a great bass line. You've got some seventh chords in there and you've got pentatonic scales. So on E, Again, just a minor blue pentatonic. It doesn't use the fifth note, but uses all the others. So have a listen to lots of music and see if you can hear pentatonics and blue scales. The next lesson in the Bass Beginner series is gonna be on arpeggios and chord tones. In this lesson, you'll learn to pick out the important defining notes of the scale to outline the chord without using all the notes of the scale. I'm also bringing a lesson out of five classic bass riffs that use a pentatonic scale. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you won't miss out on these new videos. If you need any help with your scales or the content of this video, then please post below and I'll check those regularly and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Well, download the PDF. Keep practicing. This is Greg from Greg Space Shed. See you next week. Beep.